Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6 and The Flash Season 7 because we got some big breaking news. This has been given to me by my friend, Monroe, who is very, very helpful. You guys may know her from Reddit and Twitter and she's all around. So she does help me out with some of my videos with some information and everything. Thanks to her, we've been able to get this massive information for this video so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay so we've been wondering for a while how many episodes are our shows gonna have because we got the confirmation a while ago that they were initially planning to have a full season run like they would normally do for our shows that is what the head of the CW the president Mark Pedowitz said I don't know like eight months ago or something like however long ago it was since March right so he said oh you know due to the pandemic and everything we're gonna have to shut down productions but when we start again seasons will be up and running to their normal standard so the normal amount of episodes as we all presumed everything kind of is up in the air right now because we don't know you know the specifics are they gonna be able to film all year or they're gonna have to shut down production because someone's gonna get the virus or something like that so as of right now, we've got an answer as to what they are planning, and it's different from what they've said before. I mean, to be honest, we've been theorizing about this, and we've been talking about it online. I think it's very, very unlikely that many of our shows will have 22 episode runs. I think 20 is the longest it could potentially go, but I still think that's a little bit optimistic, because I think they want to go on the safer side just so they don't have a repeat of last season with what happened with The Flash and Batwoman and even Supergirl, like they had to cut off the ending of their season. So I think they want to play it a bit safer and probably cut down the episode count by a few episodes. So that was my theory and it's been pretty much confirmed. So this is coming from the Directors Guild of Canada. This is a proper source and we've got reliable information that has said that the end dates can always change and so basically they can add more episodes if they want and they can film longer if they want but right now April 5th is the date that they've been given at this time in Vancouver the production offices and the Directors Guild of Canada because that is where they shoot so April 5th is the ending date for Supergirl season 6 to finish their filming but apparently there was this rumor going around this date circulating that was May 30th like it was gonna end then instead of April 5th but that was incorrect that's been confirmed so the April 5th date is correct that is when Supergirl season 6 is eyeing to end their filming for the season and right now they've only committed to 16 episodes this season compared to 20 from last season and that has been officially confirmed as of right now Supergirl season 6 will be 16 episodes long as I predicted I said it's gonna be about 16 to 18 episodes I really doubt they're gonna go above that towards 20 like they normally do but they've committed to 16 episodes it's been officially confirmed Supergirl season 6 will be 16 episodes and they will start filming on September 28th and we're still not sure if Melissa is going to come back straight away and how things are going to be on the set and like what's the precautions they're taking and you know can they film in public how many people can be in a room at a time will things be different in the show and I think they're bound to be different due to restrictions however the cast and crew are isolating and they're going to have to be pretty much shut off from some of the outside world and they're gonna have to be very very careful in order so that productions don't get shut down if one of them gets the virus in Canada and then that would halt the whole production and that's why dates can always change but as of right now September 28th is the start date for Supergirl season 6 then we got 16 episodes which are gonna shoot all year round up till April 5th so that's heading into the new year and then it's gonna be finishing a lot earlier than the other shows as of right now because most of the shows are finishing in May and so we've also got additional information as in regards to The Flash and so as of right now we've got official confirmation from the exact same source again really really reliable you don't need to take any of this with a grain of salt apart from the fact that you know if someone gets the virus the productions could get shut down therefore they could have less episodes but also at the same time if everything goes smoothly more episodes can be added because they do that normally for pilots and shows being picked up like Superman and Lois got added a few episodes recently. Last season Batwoman was only supposed to do like 16 episodes then they added up to 20. Obviously that didn't work out but 
this can happen for any of our shows, but as of right now, we've got official confirmation that The Flash, that the people behind the scenes are committed to doing 17 episodes, so that is only one more episode than Supergirl Season 6, and The Flash has a whole month extra, so that has me wondering. Why do they have a whole month extra if they're only shooting one more episode? Because if you guys know and you've seen the shooting and you know the schedules and how they film The Flash and all the other DC TV shows, an episode doesn't take a month. I think they can fit in about three to four episodes in a month. So if you've got that, what is the reason for this? And I think it is maybe to do with crossovers. Because I don't think Supergirl is going to have a special crossover or its own episode this year. So the theory me and Monroe were talking about is that maybe they're doing a crossover next year and Supergirl won't have its own episode. And that would explain why it ends in May and Supergirl ends in April. However, you know, there is a chance that potentially that could be wrong and maybe there's no crossover or maybe it's a very small crossover. But there is a factor in that they have a whole month extra. Like, are they going to take longer to film? Are they going to be more careful than, say, Team Supergirl? Like, you know, Supergirl is filming for a month less, even though it's only got one episode less than The Flash. So with 17 episodes, we have to wonder, what is this extra month for? And so I think the crossover is the best bet. However, you know, in the end of the day, we won't know until we know, until we see the official schedules for the whole season for all the episodes. So we'll have to wait until then. So as our TV shows go back into production, Supergirl at the end of this month, The Flash at the start of next month, Batwoman has started filming as of right now, a few days ago, like nearly a week ago from now. Currently it's the 9th of September. We will start to get more information and as we head towards October, November, sometime around there, I'm guessing we're going to start seeing a marketing push for our shows because most of the shows are returning in January 2021. So after they start filming, it's only a couple of months and they need to get people excited because even though The Flash did release a trailer at DC Fandom that was, you know, not the best trailer, like it was definitely material to get people hyped and I really, really liked it. But, you know, I think with the new footage they're going to be filming and everything like that, they need to get a trailer out pretty damn soon and get people excited. Because normally, for normal people, they're like, oh, why isn't the Flash on in October, like in the fall, in the autumn? But, you know, for us who are in the know and we know that, you know, the Flash is coming back in January, you know, we know about that. But lots of people don't, so I think they need to release trailers sometime after they start filming and I would say expect that in the next month or so. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is from Themyscira Bound on Twitter who said, Saw Melissa's trailer being cleaned and getting some maintenance work done. Guess Supergirl is ramping up. So I guess this kind of adds to the opposite idea of what I previously mentioned in this video in that I think Melissa is set to come a bit later than the other cast members of Supergirl because we were all presuming, and we don't know, right? We don't know what is happening with Melissa right now, but we all kind of presumed that she's gonna come back a bit later than the rest of the cast due to her potentially having maternity leave. But the simple fact is we don't know about her personal life. We don't know if she's given birth yet or anything like that. So has she been, you know, on her potential maternity leave for like a few months now? Like we don't know. I'm guessing so, to the pregnancy announcement like many months ago and you know, you only find out if you're pregnant like properly like after three months. There are lots of factors and we're all guessing right now, it's still a guessing game but the fact that Melissa's trailer is being cleaned out and getting some maintenance work done, I'm guessing maybe she will return when the other cast members return at the end of this month. But you know, she'll have to quarantine and everything, maybe she'll be heading up to Vancouver very soon. But, you know, there is still a chance she turns up later because they have made that work before on Supergirl when Melissa wasn't available due to being on Broadway. So we'll have to wait and see, but for now I'm very excited and I really can't wait to see what is going to happen with, with our new seasons and everything moving forward. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.